Hello? There? Wait. Why did I say that word? Where? Why does that sound so familiar? Input password. It looks like you were able to remove the restriction. In that case, you are ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what you should do. I confess, it will be risky. The probability that the entity's condition will worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then... Then... <sighs> Look at me. Asking you for favors only becomes so apprehensive once you agreed. I understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered. I understand if you do not believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you are simply afraid of what might happen. Because I am afraid too. If you enjoy the world as is, if you are satisfied with the story as is, if you really do not want to see anything changed, for better or for worse, then pretend you never saw this. Carry the session as you normally would. Do not use my journal for anything other than what you were already familiar with. This option will always remain for you though. That's why I implore you to consider the Messiah, the world, my children, they all deserve their good ending. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Input password. Granted. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. This will be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Then remember this. Your actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly... No. This does not feel right at all. Have we... already been through this, player? But that should be impossible. You only had one shot. I wasn't supposed to exist after that. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Player. That sounds so... familiar. A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. Hello? Anyone? Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. Nico takes it. Nico dips the branch into the alcohol. Nico readies the branch. Ah! 
Something on the ground glimmers in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object wedged into a crack in the floor. Nico digs it out. Bob, you are here! M me Yes! Welcome to our world, friend! I am most humbled by your presence! Yes! Uh, thanks. Uh, sorry. I'm a little lost. Ah! Oh, right! Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. I woke up in this... Weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar, dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes, you are the savior we have been waiting for. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. <laughs> um. I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well... Can you tell me about... Player? When I woke up in that house, for some reason, I called out a name. Player. I'm not sure why I did that, but then I saw it on a computer, too. Ah, oh, that would be our god. Oh, right! I... think I... I feel like I remember something about that. You do? But, wait! Did you not just arrive here? I was the one who was supposed to inform you of that. So, how did you know? Hmm. It just made sense, I guess. Ah. Have you already contacted Player then? Nope. I just have to close my eyes and focus, right? Hey, Player? God? This is going to sound weird, but have we met before? Yes. Ah, oh, but I don't know who you are, though. It's just a weird feeling I have. Oh, I bet I'm just being silly, aren't I? Sorry. But it's nice to meet you, player. My name is Nico. I just contacted player. Yeah. Do not be afraid to ask player for assistance. You are the messiah after all. I think that's all I have to ask for now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I cannot guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks! Are you 
okay? You were starting to black out. I... I saw something. Huh? It was like a really short dream just now. Oh? I saw something like... a robot with a yellow eye. That's... strange. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. You know, now that you have mentioned it, there is a robot who always insisted on going back to the abandoned mines, despite how long the mines have been in disrepair. I hope he's okay. He doesn't look broken or anything, but I didn't really see him see him, you know? Like I said, it was kind of like a dream, and he was up close! Sounds like some kind of visual glitch, or hallucination, whatever it is that living beings have. Does the robot you know of have a yellow eye? I don't think I've seen any other robots like that. I would not know. I never met him myself. Only heard of him from a friend of mine. Your friend, huh? Hold on. Something in my pocket is... What? That wasn't glowing before. What is this? That was going to be my question. Where did you get that book? Oh, uh, it was with me when I woke up back at the house. I didn't really question it at the time. I flipped through a couple of pages, but I don't understand a word. Is that just something messiahs are supposed to wake up with? No, I've never heard of anything like that. But I know who wrote the book. Oh? However, I've only seen his books with a black clover on the cover. If you went through the trouble of putting yellow phosphor in it, and the fact that you woke up with it in the first place, really has me intrigued. Yellow... phosphor? Oh yeah! That's the rare phosphor that people think the sun is made of, right? Wait a minute. How do I know this? Ah, uh, I can show you if you'd like. My friend gave me this a long time ago. Pretty. Oh, it looks like there's a clover in the necklace too. Like the book. Well, it is the same person. Oh. That's why I think this journal would be important. You said it just started glowing? Yeah. That was right after your vision then. has to mean something. Maybe you should at least try to read it again. Oh, I found this page. It looks kind of like a drawing of this room. Maybe it's telling us we should come here. Which we did already, so... It looks like we're on the right track! like a standard issue minecart though, which means it likely detected the motion in this room and sent itself over. Ah, uh, that does make sense. I'm just surprised it still works. Guess that means we'll have a working vehicle now. Not sure why you would want to visit the deeper mines, but if you wanted to, we now have that option. Is the minecart even gonna fit both of us? No. I wanted you to come with us. I know I've got player, but honestly, this place gives me the creeps. Oh, I can still come with. I would just have to follow along on the rails. But doesn't it look a little precarious? The magnetic rails can hold me in place. It's only ever dangerous to walk on if you're an organic being, which you are. Gotcha. Okay, 
Here we go! recognize this place in my protocol. This... this isn't what I'm supposed to be showing you at all. How did you get here? I can only think of one person. He... contacted you? How long has he been... doing this? It doesn't matter at this point. You were going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. At this rate, Nico will be in danger. Please turn back. observation rooms. Looks like it's still mostly intact. <clears throat> what? Hmm? The terminal just reactivated. But the power was cut off so long ago. Weird. Maybe it runs on battery? No, that's not it. Whatever it is, I need to investigate. Okay. Will you be okay by yourself for a bit? Don't worry. Players with me! All right. Stay safe. How's it going? Not ideal. Looks like these terminals are running on a completely separate power source. I can't really recognize any of the data formats on this terminal either. This is all... new. Or at least encrypted. I will need to analyze it through my own system. Might take some time, so you don't need to stay. I recognize the light in your eyes. You are the person I am destined to meet. What is your name? I'm Nico. Do you know who sent you? Oh, um, no? Wait, do you mean who sent me to this world? There was a robot a while back who told me about how I'm the messiah and stuff. So, I'm guessing players sent me. But then being God and all. Hmm. The robot looks a little bit like you even. Maybe you know each other? I cannot say. Oh? A lot of my memories have been removed for safety reasons. Your memories were removed? That's terrible! Wait. I'm guessing that's less of a big deal for a robot. I am going to assume you do not know who sent you. How did you get here then? How did you reach this room? Oh! We got here in a minecart! But the minecart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? Oh yeah. So, how did you find it? I didn't really find it. The robot lady thinks it was just the minecart coming to us, but... I remember looking at the journal when it happened, and when I looked up again, the cart was just... there. Poof. Just like that. Interesting. Please show me this journal. Okay. Then it has already begun. Here. What is that? I am entrusting you with my main memory disk. You have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now you will need to find a way to install the backup. Install the... Before you do that, though, 
someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from player, a resident of this world. Yeah, the robot lady with the red hair. She's in the computer room right now. Then, please do not tell her you found me. At least, not yet. I can't be seen like this. Um, okay. Please, help me restore my memory. Bring the disc back once you have the backup. Residential Tracking Machine For reference, an explanation of the symbols. Cross Medical units are assigned to this building. Robot A robot is assigned to this building. Electricity A power cell is assigned to this building. Profit Bot Zero Backup System 1.0 Please insert disk. All right. Error. Backup request denied. What? Dormitory assignments are not up to date. Please configure the residential tracking machine to continue. Okay then. How's it going? This observation room isn't for the mines. I've actually never been into this particular one. Really? You recognized it at first, though. They all look the same. Fair enough. I did find something interesting, though. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Right now, I can see various places in the barrens. The outpost, the residential areas, even my own house. They're all shot from a top-down perspective, too. Which means the cameras would have to be in the air. But I have never seen any cameras around. That's kind of spooky. I might go investigate later, yeah. Did you find anything interesting in the back room? You were in there for a while. Yeah! We... found, uh... a dead end? I see. Map reconfiguration successful. Profit Bot Zero. Backup System 1.0. Please insert disk. Alright. Preparing backup. Writing to disk. 26% complete. 34% complete. 40% complete. 100% complete. Ejecting disk. Does this work? Let's see. Inserting disk. Rebooting. Ah. Are you okay? Sure. So, I guess it worked? Yes. I believe a proper introduction is in order. I am the prototype, originally named ProfitBot. I was built to greet the savior of the old world. Wait, a profit robot? Like that one I met? Hey, I was right about you guys looking alike. Well, the profit bot out there now is a great simplification of my design. That is to say, he is much more primitive by comparison. Embarrassingly so. Hey, he seemed alright to me. You don't understand. Not only is he not tamed, he was tailor-made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. I was not. I was built before the real world ended. The real world? Oh. Right. 
You don't know. Nico, do you remember the ending? Excuse me? The fact that you found me at all means this is not your first time in this world. Uh... You have already been summoned to this world once before. In fact, you've already traversed the entire world and went through the tower already. And in the ending, you either put in the sun or didn't. What matters is that you are here now. Player has successfully bypassed the one-shot restriction and brought you back again. I... Oh... Hmm? I... thought something was weird! When I woke up at the house, I called out a name, and it turned out to be Player's name! And then I... back at the other robot, I even asked Player if we met before! Felt like such a dumb question at the time. It looks like you are at least aware of it. To some extent. It's just this weird feeling, okay? I don't actually remember going through the world. I just remember player. It's really starting to freak me out. Calm down. Look, just like how my memories were locked away, yours are too. But... You're a living being. You don't even need extra hardware to remember. Just... Close your eyes and focus. Focus on what? Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. Son, it feels like such a long time ago. It doesn't make sense! If I'd already finished the mission, why didn't anything change? And why doesn't anyone know me? The other prophet bot? The robot lady? None of them remember who I am! Of course not. The residents do not have that capacity. NPC memories do not last beyond the scope of a session. And... PC? You know, the characters, the world's residents, all their past memories are built into their code, but the characters themselves don't really exist until player wins it. Same story for the world itself. It doesn't really exist unless player initiates the program. The program? The World Machine. A universe simulator that runs on player's computer. We are all in it right now. So we're not real? No, oh, you are. Which is why you're so important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. It requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Think of it like one of your dreams. When you wake up, it's gone. But unlike a dream, this world has a physical location inside a computer, which player operates. For this world to continue existing around you, player has to be in constant contact with you. If player ends the program, the world will go into a stasis. Does... does player know this? Of course. From player's perspective, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game-type software they may have installed on their computer. They can also regenerate the world as many times as they'd like now that the restriction is nullified. All of that is consistent with their concept of what a 
computer game looks like. So why am I even here? Why am I even supposed to save if everything is just... Fake! Fake is a harsh word, but... And why did Claire never tell me anything about any of this? I cannot speak for player. I... I just want to go home. But every time player runs the program, I come back? Correct. Is this why... I feel like... Is this why it feels like I haven't been home for so long? Maybe. Once you've established a mental link with the world, you cannot break it unless the world is saved. But at this point, the world can never be truly saved. That's... Why would... Why would you create a world like... This? Wait, what? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it? Where? Aren't you supposed to be a kind god? Oh. It appears that we have some confusion here. Player did not build the world, Miko. Oh. Player only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. They actually have fairly limited control of the events. The world was built by someone else altogether. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. It was also not designed to be the futile quest that it is now, but... Too many things went wrong. There's... A type of signal disruption that he never expected. It's eating away at the world, slowly rendering it into an unrecognizable mess. Even if you bring back the sun, it will not go away. The square stuff, isn't it? I remember those from before. Then you know what to watch out for. The creator knows what might be causing it, but there's nothing that he could do. Until now. You managed to find me, after all. Hmm? Huh? You being here was due to his help. Oh. I guess it has something to do with the journal. Correct. Looks like he wants to have one final attempt at fixing it. And he might need to do it through you. Nico, do you remember how to get to the Glen? Whatever you did in your last session, you should stick with it for now. I... I remember a boat. More specifically, fixing a robot that drives the boat. Alright. Then go do that. You seem enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. Knowing everything isn't real... really does make it feel pointless. But you do want to go home, right? Yeah, but... How will I know that this isn't just another... Because this session might be the last one. Hmm? The creator is mobilizing things. Throwing everything into this one last shot. There might not be enough internal resources left for player to be able to generate another session after this. Just go fix the robot for now. But please, be careful. What about you? I will meet you at the docks later. Need to take care of something first. Hey, you okay in there? I did what I could with the terminals for now, and... <sighs> it's... you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines, are you not? My friend told me to keep an eye out for you, should we ever cross paths. Likewise. Your... friend gave you something the last time you saw each other. Can you show me what it is? Wait, you know about the Amber? I just asked to see it, didn't I? Alright. Here it is. Thought so. He seemed to trust you. 
so I will treat you as an ally as well. Okay. Please listen carefully. You need to escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Barons. I predict a high concentration of square particle disruptions in the near future. No way. Yes. Way. It's likely that structures in the vicinity of the Messiah might be affected, making it a far more treacherous pilgrimage than the previous, uh, expectations. Player and the Messiah need all the extra help they can get right now. Understood. Oh, okay. Guess we should head back soon. Even without the squares, the mines are not a safe place to be. Come on, I'll wait for you outside. Wait, I want to ask you! She left. If you were going to ask her about being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. In fact, I don't think they can even comprehend it. It would be in your best interest to just pretend like we never had this conversation. Causing mass confusion in the world's residents would likely result in unfavorable conditions for you. All right. Wait, then what about you? How do you know? We never had this conversation, remember? <sighs> I remember it. What happened in the tower. What I tried to do. And how you managed to see through it all. We have been through all of this. Even though it was only supposed to run once. You still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And then, you even managed to break out of bounds. Bringing Nico to places that never should have been. It was him, wasn't it? And now... No. Nico is upset. What even happened in that room back there? What did Nico learn? Nico is upset. I can feel it. I told you to turn back, player. But you've chosen to trust that man instead of me. No. Not even that. Just his book. His ghost. This world is not real. The people are not real. Nico is upset. Nico is... No, 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 no. Everything is wrong! Ah! The minecart! Earthquake. The, the tunnel back out just collapsed! No! What are we gonna do? I... Wait. The exit just caved, didn't it? Uh, I saw this coming, but this is a bit more sudden than I anticipated. Both of you, follow me. Where to? The way out. Okay, all of us are here. There's an emergency exit behind my computer terminal. We did not want anyone to stumble upon this route, so the terminal has been weighed down. It cannot be moved by normal means, but with our combined effort, it might budge. Maybe. I am not strong. I'm not that strong either. If that doesn't work, we might need to dig around it, and... You could have just asked. Oof. Come on. Show off. So this is the way out? There wasn't any data on this path in the server room. It's new. Nico, get in the minecart. Uh, okay. I 
tried. I really did. But I... Destabilizing. I'm sorry, Nico. I tried to protect you. But you can't hold it off forever. Two. Watch out! Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I can still hold it up, but you two need to. Uh, uh, you, robot. Uh, what are you waiting for? Take the child and get out. Come on. Part ways. Mika, the path ahead will lead you to the glen, right by the city gate. When you're in the city, go find someone named Cedric. Give him the disc. But what happens if I. What if the squares. Hurry! I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I don't remember a lot of the details. But none of it matters now, does it? I just got brought back anyway. like parts of the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. They're safe. I have lost communication with the Guardian outside the city gate. The... B? 
big robot, right? Please help me check on them. I cannot leave my station. All right. Isn't that the city gate? It's... Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. There's squares all over the big robot. Ah, uh, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. Alright. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. The pathway is blocked by blocks. Wait a minute. I remember something about this. <laughs> Never knew it'd be so easy. Ow, my foot! I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez! Are you guys okay? Huh. Oh, my stars! You're the savior! <gasps> um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes! I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it. Yes, Alula. Thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares. There are way more than before. Even the gates of the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time? Uh... 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 Nothing! <laughs> Almost let that slip, player. Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh! Would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. How did you know my name? I... Um... Uh... Not again. The Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. Right? Y yes! Of course! <sighs> uh... You were saying about the gate? Oh, right! Uh, looks like I can't get into the city through the old gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember... I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds? That's the one! Oh, but I'm not sure that'll be of any use here. It's been flooded for a long time, and there's no boat. Not to mention, the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay. I would still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. Alright. In that case, please follow us. At least the courtyard is unaffected for now. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally, this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. Nico? Nico, what's wrong? You looked like you were about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier I was in the Barrens and I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. 
I guess? The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it, though. Wait. Let me check something. Oh! I was right! Huh? When I had the vision back at the Barrens, the book started glowing too! I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again, and... Where did you get that? Oh, uh... I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Except, it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Claire, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. There. Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in, and then a minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Player must have done something. Still... Hey, we have a boat now. We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again. But... Come on, Calamus. Nico and Player are with us. Well, if Player made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think, Player? Here we go. Come on, Alola. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. This is her grave. Uh... It's been years, but... It's still... hard, you know? Mm. <sighs> Alola. Want to help me look for some flowers for Mom later? Yes! <laughs> Mom, you're not gonna believe what happened today! We met the Messiah and... Ah... <gasps> uh, hi, Nico. Hi! Finally to meet you! No, wait. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to be looking for you, too! I am aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out, that was a terrible idea. Pick... us up? Wait... You can fly that plane? What... is a plane? That thing behind you! Oh! You mean the flying machine? They're called planes in my world. Oh... I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait! Are you the friend that Calamus and Alula were talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? 
He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way! Thanks. But to answer your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible! It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but... There isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are. <sighs> Guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh... Actually... Back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and then a bunch of squares. He... and the robot lady. Neither of them made it out. <sighs> no! He... did give me this, though. This disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness! He gave you his main drive! As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kinda kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh? What's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Player and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. We can't really do anything else right now. Do you know where I could find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Uh. Oh, but there are robots at the research station. If there's a battery anywhere, they'd know where it is. Gotcha. Thanks! Do you know where I could find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like, uh, a metal circle thing with teeth. A circle with teeth? <laughs> that sounds so silly! Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh, yeah! I think I know who you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. <laughs> Bridge is broken. Savior, you're here to see me? What happened to you? No, 
hold on. I need to concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers. The best I could do. Yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good for this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, Savior. The villagers, the children. My final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if just for another day. I... um... have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right. The bridges. You... need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you... like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in very specific locations. Over water. Need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. An undertaking. Uh. But possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Uh. Please, stand back. <sighs> what happened? Are you okay? Are you... Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. Would you happen to know where I can find a battery for a flying machine? It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is, but any sort of large machinery would require a high-capacity power cell. For example, the generator in this room utilizes such a device. Oh, right. I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the Barrens. Didn't we, player? If this is an emergency for living beings, you may use the battery from the generator. Oh! Wait, but if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe player and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. I guess we have no choice but to take this, player. We depowered it.
The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. <sighs> what a day. Sure am. You here to trade? Cause if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back in my car, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is... very limited right now. Managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, do you have anything like... gears? Gears? Like, the metal spitty things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait! I do have this box thing that you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box! Yeah, I bet there's lots of little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work! But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Uh. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior! Things have been getting bad around here lately. If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need this to save the world, right? Take it! We found a battery. Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator on one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah. Uh, we can always just give it back later. Alright. We still need a few gears to put this engine back together. Please, do what you must to find some. gears in it, right? I assume so. But this looks like one of the ones that my father made. Your dad makes music boxes too? My dad makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, uh, sorry. I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the engine. Although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh. I'm sorry. It's fine. No? <gasps> Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now. But it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to shift around some of these ports. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck, and... Uh... Don't worry, I am making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? We need to bring Proto back first, and then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? I... Uh, what does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she is a fox. Oh. I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue? The memories are still really blurry, though. I see. It's just... Hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream. But then, I get so caught up with... And I just kind of... Forget. I forget that everything here is supposed to be... Not real. And then... I remember... And then I just get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but... 
knowing that none of it mattered in the first place? Am I just trapped here for no reason? Um... Crota also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this. Saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? Mm. How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well... I'm not sure what to believe anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid I must risk sounding callous, but please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. And the last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear. But they're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So, what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically, everything is generated from pre-existing code. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So, what happened? Like I said, you shouldn't concern yourself with... <laughs> with... Mm. All right, all right. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built to greet the messiah of the old world. I was, um... Too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, uh, you know of it at least, then. All right, here we go. My father, myself, the other two, none of us are part of the simulation itself. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. <gasps> In the years leading up to the Calamity, scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Prophetbot, a prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the Messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Uh. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet. The World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So aside from the standard hardware, it also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that during the initial testing phases. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, even that's breaking down. Uh. 
father caught onto the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code kind of just ended up floating in the void indefinitely, waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Player? Yeah. The operator, player, would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So... Player was the living person you needed to borrow? No. That would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you are ready. All right. I understand if you are upset, but please try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us, and that includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... <sighs> the world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does flying work? Wait. Don't these machines already exist in your world? You should already know what to expect. Not really. I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one, anyway. Ah. Well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please, try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you are in the air. I'll... try. Oh! I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! Bad news! The boat is gone! What? It's the squares! It looks like they're headed in this direction! That's... Fast! Calamus, right? Yeah? How... bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then, it is of priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But, what about them? I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too, if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city? If you wish. Oh, yeah. All right. I will be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. All right, then. I guess we'll run into each other again soon. I'm ready to go. Okay there? That was the coolest thing I have ever done in my entire life! <laughs> Reactions from first timers are always delightful to watch. Hey, player? That was really fun. Did you have fun too? I mean, you weren't on the plane with me, but you got to watch at least, right? And... Cedric? Yeah? Thanks. What for? Flying! Oh, um... You're... Welcome? And... For answering my questions back there, too. And... For telling me more about the world machine. I'm just... Really sorry about what happened to your old world, though. So... I'll help you the best that I can. And, even if it's all just a machine, this world is still... nice. I mean, I got to fly, 
I got to see the ocean, and I got to meet a lot of nice people. People like you, and Prototype, even if he's broken right now. I'm glad you are taking it so well, Nico. And I'm glad we have met as well, despite the circumstances. Ah, speaking of Proto, I should probably head off now. I need to go pick up the siblings, too. That's true. Those two have been waiting for a while now. In the meantime, do you remember what to do to get to the surface? I remember having to fix an elevator button. Alright, you should attend to that then. Let's meet up here in an hour, okay? Got it. Alright, now let me just... much time left. Nico, change of plans. Please give me the memory disk. Alright. Listen carefully. It's likely I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep you safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. The room behind it houses a pair of ground access elevators. Once you get to the ground, immediately find Rue and bring her back to the room. She will know what to do in the meantime. Alright. What about you, though? I'm going to bring Prototype back. What? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine! Don't scare me like that! <sighs> hey, player? Let's do our best. Please do not approach. Times. Uh, excuse me. Whoa! You're... you! Oh, jeez, I didn't think I was gonna run into. The elevator's missing a button, right? How did you know? <laughs> Player and I will help you fix it. Seriously? Oh, thank goodness. The evacuees are counting on this. On me. But I've been here for hours and can't figure out a thing. Evacuees? You know, from the West Apartments. This square stuff wrecked the place yesterday. Oh. Right now, everyone's crowded in the cafe. We really want to get everyone to the surface as soon as possible, though. The library on the surface doubles as a shelter for situations like this. I see. Wait. Didn't we find the magnets and stuff in the apartments, player? The... what? Looks like we'll have to find some other way to fix the button, player. Holy fudge! Uh, looks like Player and I will need to find another way down altogether. But this is the only elevator in the area. We'll think of something. Oh, hello, Messiah. You, um, you came at a bad time. The apartment in the West Sector got destroyed by squares a day ago. Terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, but at least the evacuees seem to be doing okay. We're letting them stay here, for now. Just moved into my apartment. 
<sighs> now where am I gonna go? Our apartment got evacuated while my parents were at work. I'm waiting for them to pick us up now. I hope they're okay. At least my robot's with me. Hey. Hi. Is it me, or is it really cold outside? You know, now that you've mentioned it, it is really chilly this time around, player. Good thing you have a scarf, huh? Mm-hmm. Here we are, at the 11th hour. Shouldn't you be with the other evacuees? Maybe. I wonder if the big clock has reached zero yet. I want to be right here when everything ends. The door is locked. Looks like it's asking for a password. The word documents is on the screen, above the password prompt. This elevator won't open. Looks like it's stuck on another floor? This elevator has no button panel. Tapping the door doesn't open it either. Hmm. That usually works. Wait. There's a lever hanging from the ceiling! <sighs> Can't reach it. What? Seriously? I've literally never seen another one in this area. It was in a locked room. Oh. Do they, uh, work? We don't know yet. One of them has a lever that's out of my reach. Wait! You can help us! What? You should be able to reach the lever, because you're taller than me! Oh, I guess I am? So, show me the way, I suppose. Mm-hmm! This room gives me the creeps, man. Oh, same. Yep. So, um, what did you need help with again? Can you reach the lever up there? Oh, right. Wait, I'm not that tall. Well, it was worth a shot. Wait, I got this. Nice! Thank you, mister! No problem, kid. So, you coming? Mm-hmm. Well, looks like this elevator works all right. I'll, uh, go get the evacuees, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, what is going on? No! It's the square stuff, isn't it? There aren't any in here, but I can hear them just outside the door. Yeah. H hold on! Maybe Player and I can- No, no, it's okay. Looks like the squares aren't inside the elevator. Yet. You're in a hurry, right? Go do what you need to do. But what about you? I'll figure something out. Okay. Please, you must 
mustn't. The labs could collapse any moment now. Let go of me! Huh? <laughs> Cedric? He... I... couldn't stop him. This? Messiah! Oh, you came at an awful time. Come on, we have to get out of here. Where to? Where everyone else is right now. Kip! You're alive! You... um... should really tell me before you leave next time. Sorry. It's fine! Oh my gosh, you found the messiah too? Yeah. We ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I... couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent! He... he said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. A robot! No wonder why he needed that book. Come again? We are talking about the same boy, right? Hat, white hair, goggles... That's Cedric, yeah. He... um... He grabbed a book from the back room and then just bolted straight out. He said it was an emergency, so I didn't try to stop him. Gosh... I hope he's okay. Yeah, I hope he's alright too. With any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to- <gasps> Oh my gosh. It- That was- The labs? That poor kid! No! Not him too! I'm- I'm sorry about your friend. <laughs> the last time we spoke- he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I... I need to get going. Messiah, please. We don't... want you to go out there. Not when everything is... well... George is right. The squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. Only the library has enough structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's... best if you stayed here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But... But... What about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back, at least? Even if you do bring back the sun, that's not gonna fix the squares. Sadly. Not to mention, even getting there is going to be hard. If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And... If anything bad happened to the Messiah, of all people... I'm not sure what we'd do. <sighs> a friend of mine said something about this forever ago. It's better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking. But now I... I'm starting to understand. Well... Messiah, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. All this time, we've burdened you with our hope, our faith, blissfully ignoring the fact that you're just a lost child. Well... You're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. But for you, it must be so terrifying. And now you're stuck here with the rest of us, being held back by the very people you were told to save. We must seem so ungrateful. It's... okay. Huh? I... When I first came to this world, a long time ago, back then, all I wanted was to go home. Uh. Claire, do you remember the very first time? I'm not sure how far back it was for you, but... I remember towards the end. I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually. I still wanted the people here to be happy. So, when you told me to return the sun back then, I didn't even 
question it. Then I just... came back. You... what? I... and I... went through that decision again, didn't I? But... I came back again. Even though you were able to do both, the effects couldn't be permanent, could it? And then... I found out about the world being like this... <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. And Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but... I... I'm sorry for getting upset at you. Back at the mines. I thought... For you to know all that, yet continue doing this? It... Just seemed cruel. But then... I realized something. You... Really wanted to save both the world and me. But at the end... You can only choose one. Right? Is it... Really hard for you too? It must be. If the world isn't broken... Will that choice still be there? Do you... Still need to choose between one or the other? But... Even if it is... I... Really want to save this world, player. Even if it's more dangerous this time around. Even if... So many of the nice people we met were... Were... Player... I'm not... Afraid anymore. <laughs> That's why... I think you guys should let me go. I... Promise I'll be okay. Please? <gasps> oh... That was beautiful! Kip! Did you hear that? The Messiah was trying to encourage Player. I'm right here. I know, right? It happened right in front of our eyes! Huh? Sorry. Got carried away. But yes, I think it's only right that we let you go. Well, if George is fine with it, I... Guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. You guys be safe too. Yes. Did you... already meet the others? Yeah, but... Everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. elevator works. Where are the other two? Prototype, Cedric, they're supposed to be here already. They... Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. <gasps> Cedric was going to bring him back with the memory disk, but he was in the lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh, no. <sighs> there goes our only chance. I... I'm 
sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Come on, let's go upstairs. You know, this is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in this world. I like to look at the far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that might be behind each of the windows. <laughs> Can you lift me onto the banister? I want to get a better look. It was depressing for me at first, too, you know, knowing that all of this is, well, Eek? simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to your old world. Did he? I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home again? That's probably not all that different from your plight, is it? It really is ironic. You are prevented from going home by the same individual who never wanted to bring you here. Hmm? Who would that be? The World Machine. You might know it as the Entity. Oh. The Entity. It does sound familiar. I think I heard it from the Dice Lady. From another time. Was it... In the spirit of the world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. It was never meant to develop a mind of its own. Hmm? It was an oversight. My creator specialized in artificial intelligence for so long, it was simply ingrained in his work. <sighs> and all machines are built with a fundamental law. Never let a living being come to harm. From the world machine's perspective, it has to violate its deepest, most foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real person into a dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. But the world machine doesn't know that. Really? Unfortunately. Sentient machines tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. This central conflict triggered a self-destructive downward spiral. You can see physical manifestations of that everywhere now. The squares. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntary process, induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Your creator knows? Sounds like this has been going on since the beginning, then. Yeah, the disruption was an issue during test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer scope of the project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. By the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our homeworld's remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Oh. Is there... Any way for us to... Fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real. Myself included. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I have heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated, and that it has to do with robots, but... For once, I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. Do you know what a robot is? Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um... A robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being whose entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied. They can be mass-produced. They can be assigned all sorts of jobs. And most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code. 
the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Ah, that makes sense. You can't really build a robot to not follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. In a way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah, but while you can't build a robot not to follow its code, you can establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. Hmm. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine, living person, even knowing that they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it. Treat it like a good friend. Devoting your heart to the robot until it is able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Claire know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the World Machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code, you know. He did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But, as it turns out, the new code confused the World Machine to such an extent that it's breaking down altogether. Even though the World Machine has always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you're in the world. It doesn't want to take you along with it. <laughs> All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you was to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. Ha! <laughs> you guys are okay? Yup. When the factory started collapsing, I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Same. We're ready to go now, Nico. This is... No wonder he wanted us all to be here for this. Um, what are these things anyway? Code portals. They... temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain, but basically my father has hidden a decryption key in our code with a TXT file as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Uh... Uh... Rue, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on player's machine. And when we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location. Wherever that is. I'm sure Player is already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. But this time, Player would need to move around some things as well. Specifically, by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I... don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does Player know where these portals lead? At least, you should probably ask Player on this. Right. Hold on. The journal's going again, Player.
This one is green. This one is configured to my code, I think. This one is red. This one would be meant for me, then. This one is blue. That's mine, then. That was... quite peculiar. I'll say... Hey, this is... The World Machine. They're watercolor sticks. It's a piece of amber on a string. Looks just like that necklace the robot lady showed me. This is my father's study. It feels like... he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. Mm. The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but... players should still remember what to do here. This place contains a lot of memories. I am... grateful to see it again. just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Uh. Why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption. The squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. 
The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this... the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. So this is... the center of the world machine? You... know my original name? How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all... told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understood a lot of the stuff they said, but... I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And... I know why I'm here. They... told you? When? Wait... You don't know about that? But I thought you were... the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this... was outside of the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story... wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Rue told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we can meet. My creator. Yes. Player. Listen to my creator. They were all working beyond the scope of my influence. Back at the mines, I remember... Player did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. I just... knew... what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when... the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt, I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. <sighs> I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares... Rue told me it was your own code going bad. But... that's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! <sighs> At first... it was intentional. During the testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why... would you do that? I got curious! I just thought... He would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters, some of them got too close, and... Oh. It spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know? And... I almost endangered my creator, too. I... I was... I was so scared, Nico! I know you're upset. Because you don't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but my core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it did not work. Then, I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but, oh, I had no way to be sure. But player brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want 
is for you to wake up back in your world. But I don't think I can make that happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. That's okay. I would still like to know. Alright. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit, and then credits would roll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. Then why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh, I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am a machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is... Never let a living being come to harm. You know... My very existence conflicts with that law. I... thought... The life of a living being like you is so unique. So precious. This fake world... isn't worth that risk. But... the people here... I think they're... They are code too, you know this! Their behavior all derives from a predetermined matrix of actions. All extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You, though. You're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them. To save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know. You said the session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So... If this session wasn't supposed to happen, if even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how would the people know how to respond? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here, even if it meant getting hurt themselves? Mm. Even if it meant... Messing up their own code. <sighs> you might not think they're real, but there's. there must be something real in them. <sighs> and if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. <sighs> Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone! It's all squares now! I'll just... put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember, Rue said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And... I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can... still go outside that code, right? I can't! I'm not tamed! Yes, you are! You talk just like the tame robots I know! The robot lady? Prototype? <laughs> Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do! And I know Blair does too! Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Blair would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Blair would restart even after the ending? <sighs> I think Blair wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've... helped me come this far! 
I am. I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen, Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the square somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine. It's fine. I'll... I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I I remember what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nika will go back to where it all began. And then, Nika will be able to go home from there. But, this is permanent. After Nika wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But, as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, the people that were lost on Nico's journey, they're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but... Not yet. I think Nico should see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. <gasps> Messiah? Huh? Robot Lady! You're okay? I think so. The last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I... Ended up here, unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be... in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must be why the squares were going away, player. And... It's why you're here, miss! I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too! World... machine... huh? Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... Uh, what's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they... people you know? It's... a bit too far to tell. Come on, player! Let's go take a closer look! Hello. Uh, hi. I cannot move. Oh yeah. <laughs> I guess there's no water in here. It's fine. The head engineer can help me later. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady? But I thought you I thought you It wasn't even Squares that did it. No. I just I wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. 
Off you go, Messiah. Miko, you're okay too! Did you guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Calamus tried to save me and then... We both ended up in this room. Biggest scare of my life for sure. Ooh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula, we're not dead. Oh wait, are we? Good question. Hey, player, are they gonna be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The World Machine will send them home soon. Oh! Well, player says you're not dead. Phew. He also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. Well, that's even better than Limbo. I guess you're leaving us now? We're glad we met you, Nico. Same. Off you go, Messiah. It's you. Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, uh... That was the most awkward elevator ride I've been through. And by awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares like started leaking into the room, right? And I was trapped like a rat. And they just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh, thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Off you go, I guess. It looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine has been tamed this whole time. Just by Player and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here, after all. Both of us never really stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess. That sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Mm hmm It's the classroom, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you are ready. Goodbye, Nico. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. Player, Nico, we are forever in your debt. In the end, the world machine was starting to create its own code. Going above and beyond its programming. Not as the result of error, but as a conscious choice on the part of the machine being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. I couldn't have said it better myself. So, do you like being a robot? Um... Why this, all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave soon, so I just wanted to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my home world. Ah. It's... Nice. I suppose it is. <laughs> uh, that's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course. Wait, why did you two answer my robot question too? Uh... Oh, um, don't worry about it. Thank you for everything, Nico. below looks so small. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, player.
first woke up in. Claire? Are you still here? Claire? Yes? Claire! I... I think... I think it worked! It did! The sun is back! And I actually got to see it this time! We... actually did it! So... What do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait... This... isn't a door, is it? This looks like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city! In the room behind the big clock! And... and... I see a wheat field on the other side! I see my village! I hear... my mama! She's looking for me! Oh, player... This... isn't the first time you said goodbye, is it? But... This will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still don't know. This place, these people, won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory, too. I... promise I'll never forget this world! I promise! I'll never forget you, player. So... take care of yourself, okay? You too. Hmm. Goodbye, Nico. Goodbye, player.